the pad is completely and totally wet. So that looks good to me, that looks perfect. Whole thing is becoming saturated. It's 84 degrees in this house. I'm getting 66, 65. Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make one of these EVAP coolers out of a uh, five gallon bucket and a couple of items you see here. I'm going to start by filling the bucket with two gallons of water. So the first thing we're going to do is cut some holes in the side of the bucket, making sure that they're all well above the water line. Okay, I've got two holes drilled all the way around. Okay, all the holes are drilled now. You can see how I just did that evenly around the bottom. Okay, the second step here is to cut down the pad, your cooling pad that you have. You're going to want a piece about 13 to 14 inches high and about 30 to 31 inches around. Okay, it's looking good now. I've got the holes all done, I've got the pad in there, that's 14 inches high by 31 inches around. And the next step is to take some screen here and put it between the edge of the pail and the cooling pad. You can use garden cloth too. That'll help hold the water and moisture and cooling pad away from direct contact with the air holes. Okay, the next part is easier than it looks. And that's it. Almost a perfect cut. Now I'll just drop the fan in. That's exactly how I'm going to mount it, just like that. Okay, then the next step is you just drop the pump in the bottom, connect the aquarium tubing. Again, I'm using quarter inch, but you can use three eighths or whatever you want. Go around one time, and then clamp the hose off at the end if you need to. Again, as far as uh, how to turn this into a soaker hose, just a pin or a nail. Go along the hose. So that looks good to me, that looks perfect. Whole thing is becoming saturated. And there's absolutely no water showing whatsoever on the edge of this tub. The pad is completely and totally wet. The soaker hose is working perfectly. I just did a double layer of regular window screen between the pad and the uh, side of the five gallon bucket and no water at all. It's been running a long time too. Okay and here it is hooked up to the solar panel. You can see the cord right there. You check down here. You can feel the suction evenly on all the areas. You can feel the air going in. And the fans are running nice and smooth. Right now it's 84 degrees in my house. Very dry 84. So I'm hoping this will drop at least 10, 15, 20 degrees. Maybe more. 84 degrees in this house. I'm getting 66, 65. It's almost a 20 degree temperature drop.
a little dry right there. Let me add a couple of holes to the That's all you do. And it'll just dribble down into the pad now. Start by putting maybe one hole every centimeter, a couple holes every inch. Then you can double or triple that if you need to. That's about right. That's the consistency I want it to drip at. And again, there's the pump down there. Notice how I have the end clamped off. Otherwise, most of the water just comes flying out of there. Any sort of small fountain pump will work in here. So I've got to say, I definitely recommend making one of these suckers. Really works well. Another thing to remember about this, um, when you're done using it, dump the water out, take the pad out and everything, dry it out. You don't want any problems with bacteria and all that. Just one quick note, you can always put ice water in there if you want. That's going to make the air feel a lot colder too. Just drop a big block of ice in the center of there along with the water.